What's up guys, JV2017 here with your daily Grand Theft Auto 5 tips and tricks videos. Today we're looking at the location of every single hidden package in Grand Theft Auto 5. Before we get into those locations, I do want to note that there are plenty of ways to do this. However, I have three methods that you guys can choose from that I'm gonna share in this video. You know, which one's the fastest, which one's the easiest. In my opinion, I'm gonna share them with you guys. Method number one is to use a submarine. Now, I'm not gonna go over how to get a submarine in this video because I made a video just yesterday detailing exactly how you can do that. So, if you wanna go over there, click on the thumbnail on the screen right now to go over there, check it out on how you can get a submarine. Out of the three methods, I would say this is the second fastest way. It's definitely not the fastest way. The fastest method is definitely faster than the submarine. So it is up to you what you want to do. You can't pick these things up with the submarine. So don't think you can go underwater, you know, and be completely protected by the submarine to pick up these briefcases. You cannot do that. The second method I have for you guys is to use a very specific speedboat to find these locations. So in order to get this specific speedboat, you need to have completed number one, the Blitz Play story mission. You have to have done that. And then second off, you have to have bought the Sonar Collections dock, which you needed to do in, in order to unlock the submarine. As you can tell, the submarine's right there, but also you have this speedboat. You get this speedboat right here by talking to a lady on the dock. She is a Strangers and Freaks mission for Michael only. So again, you have to have completed the Blitz Play mission and purchased this dock for this lady to show up. I don't have gameplay of me talking to her because I just screwed up and didn't record me talking to her because I found this out about halfway through getting my hidden packages. I was like, there's a faster way to do this. So it is the speedboat. And also, by using the speedboat, you get free scuba gear right here. As you can tell, here's the mask and it allows you to breathe underwater so you don't need to worry about breathing uh, getting air, anything like that. It's really, really easy. I believe this is the fastest and easiest way to do it, bar none. I mean, pretty much this speedboat is really quick, and if you're good about it and you know all the locations and you pay attention to this video, you should be able to get all of the hidden packages probably within an hour with the exception of the last one, which I'll get to at the end. The last method, which I do not recommend because I think it's more difficult, is to just take any boat. You could also take the atomic blimp if you wanted to because that thing will float in water. Take it out to these locations and just run the risk that your breathing capacity, your lung capacity is high enough to find these items. You need to know exactly where you are in relation to the item and sometimes your boat will drift away. So it's kind of difficult if you do it this way because you're dealing with lung capacity and you don't have that mask to rely on. You could definitely drown and sometimes if you die, it's really frustrating. You know, you have to go through the whole process again of finding another boat and getting to the next location. So long story short, I do not recommend this, but it's definitely possible. Here are all 12 hidden package locations in no particular order. The first one is right off the coast of Polito Bay in the Pacific Ocean. This is just south of the Sonar Collections dock. That's kind of the order I went in. I went south from there and then hooked all the way around San Andreas. So basically this one is just going to be in the cargo area of this plane, this plane crash right down here. You're gonna go straight down from that spot and then go into this open area, as you can tell right here. And don't forget, you swim with A on Xbox and X on PS3. I don't know why I forgot, but <laughs> I tried to swim and I was just punching the water, looking stupid with RT. So there is the briefcase right there. You get $12,500 from that one. The next location is just south of the previous one, so mark it right here on your map. You can use the points of interest, just by the way, with the Y button if you wanna mark all 10 and then just get 10 all at once or whatever, and then you'll have to get the extra one and the final one. But for some reason, I had some problems getting my character to go underwater. I don't know what the deal was, if there's like a button that allows you to just dive. I think there should be. I tried everything, but I wasn't able to do it. So if you had the same trouble as me, just hop back on your submarine or your boat, whatever you decided to use, and then click X, or I guess that would be square on PS3, to make your character dive like that, and you will go underwater. So just to let you guys know, that's how I did it. So this one is going to be right on top of this sunken ship here, very easy to find. It's glowing as you can tell, and you get $9,000 from this particular briefcase. Again, further south, we have this briefcase right here. Mark it on your map, it's closer to Los Santos, 
and I opted to use the speedboat at this point because I was going really slow, like I said before when I was explaining the methods. So this one is going to be on the very top of this sunken whatever this is. This looks like some kind of base maybe. I'm not even sure. So there's $25,000 right there. This briefcase location sits right in the port area of Los Santos right there on the map. Again, you're going to want to dive down deep down and you find this abandoned submarine. I mean, it almost looks like, yeah, it's definitely a boat here, but this one's really hidden. So you're gonna have to dig around in the seaweed, as you can tell right here. That was the exact spot where I found mine. So that'll be $11,000 for you guys. This next spot is a little further north, still in kind of the Bay Port area of Los Santos on the map right there, as you could tell. And this is probably the easiest one to get. I had some trouble getting out of my boat because again, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. This one is so close to the surface, it's not even funny. The easiest one to get for sure. Here it is right here, and you get 7,500. Moving a little bit to the east from the port, still kind of close, you know, close to the Port of Los Santos. Here on the map, you will dive off. Hopefully, if your person knows how to dive off, whoever you choose to do this with. Actually, I think you pretty much have to do this with Michael. I don't know if you could get another character to get on this dinghy boat. Maybe you could. But once you do dive underwater, you will see this crashed plane here. And the briefcase is going to be under the right tail wing. Now, don't get confused and look under the big wing there. I'm heading towards the tail wing right now. So you're going to go. It's going to be right hidden underneath here when I get to it. Let's see how much is in it. I don't really know because I can't remember. It is $16,500 for you. The next location is right here on the map, on the eastern side of the map. So, guys, I don't know what the heck was up with this one, but this briefcase didn't appear for me. And I know for a fact that this briefcase is here. So I'm not crazy. I've seen other people get this briefcase because I was so confused on why it was not here. I'm going to show you exactly where it's supposed to be, but for some reason, I didn't get it. I don't know if I just picked it up and it didn't show up in the bottom right or the top right, but I didn't get this one. So it's right here under the easternmost wheel kind of thing of the wreckage. It's right under there. I swear to goodness God, it is under there. If you try it out, you should be able to find it, or if your game glitch is like mine, it won't be there, but it should be there. This location is further north up on the eastern coast of this area. And guys, I had a mofrack and shark when I found this hidden package. So watch the heck out. Usually when there are sharks, they will lurk. And once you arrive on your speedboat or your submarine, whatever you brought over here, they will lurk around and you'll be able to shoot them when you're on the boat and then be able to dive under and be safe but watch the heck out. I had a shark here that was pestering me. So just a heads up. The briefcase is located right here on whatever this sunken, I think it's like a maybe an oil rig or some kind of, I don't know, $20,000 right there. Going further up the coast, here is the next location. This one's kind of on the outskirts when it starts to get really, really deep. I didn't show me jumping under because I had some trouble finding it, but you have the exact location on the map right there. Here it is in this cargo container, $10,000 and some extra stuff. I don't know what that was, but it was some kind of pickup as well. This next location is north. I'm already laughing because something really terrible happens to me on this one. Um, so I'm going to dive under, as you can tell. Going under, it's right here, you know, it's gonna, I'm gonna go get it. Oh my God, there's a shark. I screamed so bad, I was like, shit, shit, shit. Anyways, so this is a perfect, <laughs> this is a perfect example of, oh my God, there it is. You need to watch out for sharks in this location and other locations too. Some of the locations that I didn't mention a shark might have a shark. So again, they will show up for the most part before you go underwater. This one didn't, cause it's a bastard. So what I did is popped a few rounds in his shark tail, he's dead and I went back under. Also, I had a scenario where a second shark appeared. I think this might be the one. So I came here, there was a shark, I killed it, then I went under, there was another shark. So just watch out for sharks, guys. Once you do get rid of the shark menace that will absolutely definitely kill you if you let it get close to you, the crop duster is right here, the plane. Again, labeled it on the map for you guys. The briefcase is underneath the tail area, I guess you could say right here and you get a nifty $8,000 from it. The 11th and final underwater location for these briefcases is right here on the map. Again, it's gonna be another broken, looks like a Fly US plane, 
maybe it's like a vintage plane, I don't know, I don't know anything about planes and their history in Grand Theft Auto V, but here you go, there is the briefcase right there, $12,000. So the 12th and final briefcase is frustratingly tricky. I will call it that. So basically what you have to do is bring four different people with Trevor to the altruist camp, which is the cannibal camp that is on Mount Chiliad. You have to have brought four people and then participated in some kind of shootout at their camp in order to unlock where the last briefcase location is. Unfortunately, I screwed up. I wasn't able to get the briefcase because I brought people where they were supposed to go and not to the cannibals. Screw me, right? But anyways, you have to do four random events where you, where you get somebody in your car and then that altruism thing will pop up with Trevor only. Now, just to test this out, just to see if I could get around this, I took the atomic blimp, landed on that camp, and decided to take matters into my own hands and show you guys the location. Unfortunately, it didn't give me any money. I checked and it didn't change my money number and it didn't show anything in the top right. So I think Rockstar really wants you to do the altruism missions, bring people here, and uh, you know, get the last briefcase the legit way. And that is all I have for you guys today. That was every single hidden briefcase location in the game and how to get them. If you learned something new from this video, I would really appreciate a click of the like button. It would really help me out. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V tips and tricks content on the daily. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you later. Peace!